Hey guys, this is MagHeads101, and um, we made um, videos about Max having viruses, and a lot of people say that Max don't have viruses, and um, Alex actually um, coded something that he was not going to send to anyone, which is very dangerous. Basically, it's something that if they open, he ha has complete um, SSH control over anyone's computer, so he can um, you have Unix control over their computer. So, um, that's just saying that Max can have viruses, and, um, Alex is actually demonstrated that before and explained to me how it works. But now, um, a lot of people ask me to make a virus for them and then send it so they can send it to their friends, and I don't know why anyone would do, like to them to do that. So I'm just going to be showing you a little prank that's not harmful at all, but fun to play on your friends. So, first off, what this does is it makes it so they can't open Safari, or Finder, or iChat, and th the worst scenario that you can do with this prank is make them have to reboot their computer. So, the first thing you do is you CD to your desktop, okay, and so now that you're on your desktop, um, if you, uh, you're going to make a new file, because they're going to have to open this file for the prank to work. So, you're going to want to say nano, space, and then whatever you want to call your name of your um, file that or prank that you want them to open. So I'll just say nano space prank. Now you're going to see I'm in nano and so I can type up the code for the prank. So first off we're going to want to make this prank loop so that way it does it constantly. So that way if they if it um, kills Safari they just doesn't kill it once they can't actually open it. So you say while wow. Space open parenthesis true do. And basically that means true is always true is always true, and so that means it's always gonna do it. So the first thing you want to do is um this prank is going to run through terminal when they first open it. But you don't want it to run through terminal because then it'll just stop when they quit terminal. So we're gonna make it run in bash. So to do that we say kill all terminal with a capital T. Now we can choose uh, two things for it to work. For it to do, I'll just say um, kill all finder. And um, yeah, that, that's good enough for now. And then I'll say done. You have to say done for it to work. Then when you think it's good, you press control C. And then say um, press enter. Or press, I mean, I'm sorry, press control X. It's going to ask you if you want to save. Say yes. It's going to ask you what you're going to call it. Just press enter. And you'll have a new file on your desktop called prank. But here's, if you send this to them, it won't work. Because this is what it does. It just opens text edit and shows you the code. So you're going to want to make it open with terminal. So what you want to do is type ch mod plus. Really can't type today. Plus X space, and then you can either type the name of the file or drag it in. So I'll just type prank. Oh yeah, it's because I, I misspelled prank the first time. There we go. So um, now you're gonna see it's a terminal application. But um, so if I open it, you'll see it kills all Finder, and so the only application I have open is ScreenFlow. And so if I open Finder, you're going to see instantly quits. So, yeah, how does this work? Uh, but I can't open any other application. I can open Safari. And, yeah. So, um, basically, it constantly quits Finder. So, um, to kill this, you open uh, Activity Monitor. And like I said, it runs in Bash. So you're going to kill Bash. So I'm just going to search for bash, kill one of the processes, it will automatically kill the other. And you're going to see finder is now op open and I can open finder. So if, if you want to send this to your friend, it's what you should do. First off, um, I'm going to show you a couple of things in activity monitor. Oh, you can kill whatever you want and you can also type more than one line of code. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to know if your friend's sending this to you. So. Um, one of them that you really don't, that you really, um, login window will, like, make them have to re-login. So if, um, I can't demonstrate that to you. 
and another one is launch D. Oh, you can kill spotlight so they can't um so they can't search anything. You can kill launch D. Launch D will make them have to restart their computer. Or if you want, you can kill um um you can kill Doc constantly. You can kill um one of them that's really not gonna make them have any idea what's going on is keyboard what what that is is their copy content so if they copy anything they won't be able to paste it okay so but if you send them something with this icon your friends and obviously not gonna open it because they're gonna be afraid so this is what you should do take a picture on your desktop by pressing apple shift 4 as you can see I got my picture right there so now press apple I on both of these and then drag the bottom one to the top. It'll have the picture icon now. Now you can delete this, you don't need that anymore. And rename that picture one. Now before you do this to your send this to your friends, there is something really important you have to do. You have to compress it first and send them the compressed copy or the zipped copy. And there's a reason for that. And that is first off, um as you can see, okay, if I unzip it see it looks it looks like the other one but if I didn't zip it and I sent it to them first off they wouldn't have the icon and second off it would open with text edit so that line of code that we did before wouldn't work so, but if it's if it's zipped it's kind of like if it's in a folder because it zips up a folder and deletes it that's kind of hard I don't know if you got that but basically you just have to zip it because otherwise they won't have the they'll have the other icon and um, it'll open with text edit actually no they won't have the other icon because it will open with text edit so it will anyways it won't have the picture icon that's what I'm trying to say so if someone sends you this first off beware if someone sends you a zip but if someone's gonna send you something through iChat it's probably gonna be a zip because it goes faster so um, I'm not saying don't accept any zips but I'm what I'm saying is even if it has this icon just press spacebar and if it says Unix execu executable file that means it'll run through terminal or Unix so to see what they're what they're trying to do to you say um, right click on it, say open with, and then do any text editor. So I'll just say text edit, and here we got all the code for what they were trying to do to us. So now your friends can't mess with you, and you can mess with your friends and um, not actually do any actual permanent damage to their computer. So thank you for watching MacHeads 101. Subscribe and goodbye.